Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Oh, hello again. My name is Fafa Gilbert and welcome to my creative African cooking channel, Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hey, and thank you again for joining me. And today on the menu, I do have this beautiful yam pancake, or may I say yam hash brown recipe. This is an equally great recipe. It's gluten free and it's just perfect for everything. So to start off, we would need our yam. And I'm actually using the middle part of the yam. So as you can see, I'm just cutting through and I'm actually going to be peeling the outer skin off, which is actually quite hard. Um, so you peel that and then I'm actually going to be grating this beauty. Now yams do contain um, a good amount of vitamin B6 which actually helps with your heart and um, it's also rich in calcium and potassium and um, also iron and manganese so it's quite good and you know surprisingly as well vitamin C so it's one that you should include in your diet. So after peeling and washing your yam using your grater you're going to grate your yam into this beautiful piece here and as you can see it's just gorgeous. So now with this, what I'm going to do is extract um, the juice out of the yam. So the best way is to actually place it in your kitchen, a clean kitchen napkin that is. And I'm just going to be squeezing the juice out. So as you can see, you add a little bit of pressure and you just squeeze it out. And that's just great. Yes. <laughs> After squeezing the juice, I'll transfer the mixture into a bowl and also to ensure that my surfaces are clean, just wipe it off. And then, yes, I think I've actually got that right consistency. It's slightly on the dry side and it's just great now for me to do my infusions. <laughs> so at this point, I'm actually going to grate half an onion to my mixture best to actually grate it than to blend it because if you do blend it, it means that you need to add some more water and that's what I'm trying to avoid. Add some salt to taste and also um, just add in um, freshly milled black pepper corn and mix all of this together. So in mixing everything together, at this point I want to add that little residual heat. So I've de-seeded some green chilies and um, finely chop it and just add into the mixture. Now if you actually want to spice it, you can leave the seeds in. At this point, add your egg to the mixture. Best to actually crack your egg separately into a bowl to avoid any shells from entering um, your mixture. However, I'm just being too known here. So. <laughs> so anyway, this is almost ready. So mix everything together till it's well combined. And I'm using coconut oil. So I've just got about um, a tablespoonful of coconut oil that I've melted. And now I'm just going to add my mixture to it. I told you this how easy it is. Now what I'm actually going to do is actually um, spread it evenly and form that beautiful disc as well. So this is going to cook gently at the bottom so the residual heat is actually going to cook the yam now bearing in mind that the yam is actually grated so they're in small pieces now so it will cook quickly so i'm actually going to be cooking this for four to five minutes on each side so it's actually golden brown and then i'll turn it the other way so now yeah wish me luck Yay, my is it gonna happen is it gonna happen oh god oh god yeah <laughs> okay what is she gonna do hey almost done you see the number of attempts you've got to do <laughs> that is life real isn't it you have to try and try again and never give up. So here I've got that beauty. I love creating these recipes to give you alternative ways of actually using our ingredients. Now this is just a perfect base for your canapes as well. You can have it for your breakfast. Now as you can see here, I actually served this as a canapé with my lamb stew, which went down a storm. You know, you've got the recipe for the baba ganoush. I've got this green chili sauce coming up, the mackerel mousse, you can top it up with anything that you want so i hope you are inspired to try the recipe thank you again for actually watching yet again another exciting episode and i hope you are inspired to try the recipes now do not forget to leave a comment below with your feedback because i'd like to learn and grow and know that i'm actually giving you the right recipes as well now you'll find the transcript of the recipe including the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dubaifafa.blogspot.com i'll leave the link below and also above so do check it out i'm also on facebook in Instagram and Twitter as Indu Dubai for first. So do pass by and say hi. Now, until next time, take care of you, be nice, be beautiful, and guess what? I love you.